Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to use Search and Sort to give B2B buyers a great experience in your online store. Online sellers who use Commerce Cloud will learn how to use Site Search to your advantage and how to enable sort options and sort rules. We'll one, explain how B2B search works and the importance of search relevancy. Two, describe how to use automation and AI with search. Three, explain how and why to customize the search user experience. Four, and summarize steps to enable and manage sort rules. And five, demonstrate how to manage no search results. B2B search is about what happens when a buyer searches for a product in an online store. But what's behind the search exactly? And how, as an online seller, do you make your products available for search and accessible to your buyers? In B2B commerce, all products in your B2B store are based on a data object named Product2. This object acts as a template for all of the products in your store and controls search, facet, or filter, and display behavior for your storefront. The behavior you choose to control will affect how you can use each entity. For example, if you want to control the search behavior, this will affect whether you can make the entity discoverable. If you want to control the facet behavior, this will affect whether you can use the entity as a search filter. And if you want to control the display behavior, this will affect whether you can show or hide the entity entirely. The Product 2 standard fields that allow you to control behavior are available out of the box to products in your store. Here you can see some of the standard fields that let you control search, facet, and display behavior. You also can add custom fields as needed to make them available to your products. Here you can see some of the custom fields that let you control search, facet, and display behavior. It's important to follow a few steps when updating a custom field. Mark the field as unsearchable in your org. If you're renaming a field, create a custom field with the new name. If you're only removing a field, rebuild the index. Mark the new custom field as searchable in your org. Rebuild the index. Search relevancy is based on a buyer's recent search history and popular search terms. It allows buyers to navigate to your products quickly and easily and gives them a positive experience. Research shows that 43% of customers would pay more if they could find what they're looking for in just a few clicks. Now that we've covered a few B2B search basics, let's learn how to use automation and AI with search in B2B commerce. Let's start with typo tolerance, which helps buyers find the products they want when they accidentally enter incorrect search terms. Typo tolerance corrects and improves suggestions by matching and returning similar terms to the ones made in the search. It's enabled by default in your org, but is always executed as a secondary search, which means that it updates the search phrase to contain any possible corrections and then repeats the search. Typo tolerance always looks for the closest match within two corrections of the original term that returns results. Here's an example. Suppose a buyer mistypes dress in the search bar of an online clothing retailer. Typo tolerance can suggest the search term dress to help the buyer find the product they are looking for. So, how does it work? When a buyer begins a search in your B2B store, the initial filter and search phrase execution happens at the same time. Then Commerce Search decides if the term already exists in the catalog. If Commerce Search finds the original search term, it returns the results. If no results are found, Commerce Search initiates typo correction and finds the closest match to the original term in the catalog. Using the corrected term, Commerce Search runs the search again and returns any results. Let's look at more automation options. Einstein Search Suggestions is another great automation capability that drives search efficiency to help increase sales for your site. With Einstein Search Suggestions, buyers will see search suggestions below the search box as they enter a search term. Here's how to set it up. Select the Experience Builder tile on your store's home page. On any page where it appears, select the Search Input component. Remember that when configuring one search input component, the settings apply to all search input components in the store. Now, in the Properties box of the component, select the Search Suggestions section. All you have to do from here is select the Show Search Suggestions checkbox and publish your store. 
You also can choose to select, order, and display your most relevant facets. Follow these steps to set up this capability. Click the search tile on your store's home page. Then select the results display settings option. Under filters and facets, click the pencil next to auto select the 10 most relevant facets and select the checkbox. Save your changes. You're all set. Now you're ready to customize the search user experience in B2B commerce. In your org, user entitlement checks are run as part of a search index rebuild and when retrieving search results. Applying both entitlement checks guarantees the most precise search results for your users. However, you can achieve faster search performance by just skipping the second entitlement check. You can personalize your search user experience in a few different ways. Let's start by configuring your org to skip additional entitlement checks for faster results. To set this up, click the search tile on your store's home page. Click the results display settings tab. In the results display settings section, click the pencil next to skip additional entitlement check for search and select the checkbox. Save your changes. After disabling the second entitlement check, rebuild the search index to ensure that the data is up to date. Changing entitlements and not rebuilding the search index results in mismatched data and can produce inaccurate results. You also can limit the number of product results that show per page on both search results and category detail pages. Here's how. Click the search tile on your store's home page. Click the results display settings tab. In the results display settings section, click the pencil next to results per page and enter a number from 1 to 100, depending on your specific need. Save your changes. Lastly, let's limit values per facet in your store. Facets have many values that buyers can use to narrow down the products returned on category detail and search results pages. For example, the facet shirt can have values such as women, men, and children. This means that you can specify the number of values that a facet can have. To set this up, click the search tile on your store's homepage. Click the results display settings tab. In the results display settings section, click the pencil next to maximum values per filter and enter a number from 1 to 100 depending on your specific need. Save your changes. Good work. Now it's time to sort out our sorting options. Sorting helps make it easier for your B2B buyers to search and purchase your products in an organized way. In B2B commerce, sorting is enabled for search and category pages by default. However, you can control whether customers can see the sorting menu that appears on these pages with the results layout component. You can change the sorting properties on any page that uses the results layout component. To enable or disable sorting for your site, follow these steps. In Experience Builder, open the category detail or search results page. Select the results layout component. In the sorting menu section, to enable sorting, select Show Sorting Menu. To disable sorting, deselect Show Sorting Menu. Publish the store. The sorting menu appears only when a search returns results. The selected sorting option remains enabled for the current search results, unless you change it. When you issue another search request, the sorting option reverts to the first sort option in the sorting menu. To make the most of the sorting capability, you first need to create sorting rules based on the available products and product attributes. This allows your buyers to arrange results in your search and category pages as they'd like. When creating a sort rule, remember the following. The default best match rule sorts output based on its relevance to the search results. Commerce Search uses the frequency of the search terms in each product and how often each term appears in the catalog to determine the sort order for the search output. You can't delete the default best match rule, but you change the order in which it appears in the sort menu. Commerce Search limits the number of searchable values that you can configure. You can configure up to 25 searchable fields, 50 results filters, or 10 sortable fields, but the combined maximum is 70 values. For example, you can configure 20 searchable fields, 40 results filters, and 10 sortable fields or any combination totaling 70. 
Sort rules apply to simple products and variation child products. When your store's results display settings are set to group variations under parent, product variation groups can appear out of order in sorted search results. Commerce Search applies sort rules to the most relevant child product within a variation group, and search results return the variation parent product. To add a new sort rule, click the search tile on your store's homepage. Click Sort Rules. Click New. In the New Sort Option window, select the product field name to use as a sort option. Before sorting results by price, select a price book on the search tile's Results Display Settings tab. Select an ascending or descending sort order. Values in the Sort Order Label menu change to reflect your sort order selection. Click Save. Rebuild the search index. To remove a sort rule from the sorting menu, delete the rule. You can edit a sort rule and change where it appears in the sorting menu by following these steps. Click the search tile on your store's home page. Click Sort Rules. For the sort rule that you want to edit, click the Actions drop-down menu in the rightmost column of the table. Click Edit. In the Edit Sort Option window, you can change the following parameters. Product Field Name. Sort Order. Sort Order Label. Sort Menu Order. Click Save. Rebuild the search index. Some buyer searches will lead to no results found. Let's see how to manage that scenario. With B2B Commerce, you can redirect buyers to a No Search Results page by default when their product search returns no results. This standard page includes preloaded content that you can use as is or modify to meet your needs. To set up this page, open Experience Builder and go to the No Search Results page. Select the HTML Editor component, then click Edit Markup. Update the page content in HTML format. Here's the default HTML and how it looks when you publish the page. In the first line, the variable is replaced with the search term that the buyer enters. Click Save and publish your work. If you prefer not to redirect users to another page, you can show a No Results message directly on the Search Results page. In this video, we've explained how B2B search works and the importance of search relevancy, described how to use automation and AI with search, listed steps for and benefits of customizing the search user experience, summarized steps for enabling sorting and adding, editing and deleting sort rules, and demonstrated how to manage no search results. By using and customizing search in B2B commerce, you get the most out of your store by helping buyers find exactly what they need, when they need it. For more information, please check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.